Trial board testimony revealed prior to the police in custody death of Freddie Gray, officers rarely put detainees in seatbelts. Witnesses called by attorneys for van driver Caesar Goodson told the three-member panel. The department overhauled its seatbelt policy after the city had to pay millions in lawsuits filed by detainees and surviving family members, claiming injury or death from riding in the back of a police wagon. Goodson's attorneys argue at the time of Gray's injuries, he followed General Order K-14. The arrestee is secured with seat restraint belts provided. This procedure should be evaluated on an individual basis, so not to place oneself in any danger. This line is interpreted by the police union as giving officers discretion to belt or not. The policy also says ensure medical treatment for prisoners when necessary at the nearest medical facility. The trial board at the University of Baltimore Law School campus also got a copy of a revised policy. Policy 1114 is only slightly different. Shall be restrained by seat belts. Ensure medical treatment for a detainee is obtained when necessary or requested. Witnesses for the police department contend Gray twice asked for medical attention and didn't get it. Goodson's lawyers called a witness who revealed the police department didn't follow its own procedures in distributing the new policy to rank and file. In addition, Goodson's lawyers say there's no record indicating the van driver actually got a department email telling him about the change. An I-Team investigation back in 2015 uncovered a 2012 audit finding that no officers were seatbelting detainees. Meanwhile, the defense continues its case tomorrow. Reporting live from Midtown, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.